you know, he said, don't have respect for their prayers. It means mm. that a man could tell God what to do. He has come, he has become an effulgence of his glory. Mm. If a man could mm. tell God what to do, and God would, mm. and God would obey him. Ah, my God. Mm. He said, don't listen to them. Do not have respect for their prayers. And so, so tonight uh, we are going to tell God so that He will not listen to any incantation tonight. He will not. He will not allow any enchantment to work. So, uh, so when when David brought his own petition before God, David brought a petition and he said, "Create in me a clean heart, renew a right spirit." Before he finished the statement, the Lord said, There is no enchantment against Jacob. There is no divination against Israel. You know, and he quickly remembered that he came from their lineage. That if there are no enchantment, it means that God always respects their prayers. Therefore, tonight, this morning, La Keto Zabralea, Lord, this network, take charge. Yeros Efrale, Kateros, Parode Gazuze, Arateko Frale Kando Zaparia, Yeros Kalate, Rakteko Brale Kata. Therefore, tonight I pray to God our Father, there will not be any enchantment against you in the name of Jesus. Oh no, my prayers more than any enchantment tonight. Oh no, my prayer and dishonor every enchantment. Oh no, my prayer, Lord, and dishonor every enchantment. Oh no, my prayer and dishonor every divination. Oh no, my prayer and dishonor every divination. Oh no, my prayer and dishonor every divination. And dishonor every enchantment. This is every evil programming. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, when, when, we, when we call ourselves believers and we come before God and we cannot pray, it always, it always amazed me. You know, I have been, I have been, I have been, I have been opportune. I have been opportune to prophesy and to pray with um, uh, some Muslim uh, men and women, you know. And I used to hear when I asked them to pray, they seem to understand what it is to be to pray. They seem to understand how to be consistent with prayer. So, so, uh, and and uh, and the way they pray, you would think that you are the only one that knows how to pray. I asked a Muslim woman to pray, and she was speaking in tongue. I was shocked. I said, "Let us pray." She said, "Rakarobazi." I said, oh, "My God!" And immediately, I was moved to pray with her. I was moved. So, prayer is not something we do because we are convenient. Anytime you anytime you pray because it is convenient for you, you are no longer obeying the, you are no longer obeying the commandment. You know, the commandment is pray without ceasing. So when, whether it is convenient or not convenient, I said pray like this that honor my prayer more than any enchantment against me. Honor my prayer and dishonor any divination. Honor my prayer and dishonor every enchantment. Honor my prayer, Lord, and dishonor every enchantment. Dishonor every enchantment. 
Amen. Can you imagine a man can tell God not to answer another person's prayer? Yes, how, how, how can Moses tell God? He said, do not answer their prayers. And, uh, and God will obey. Ah, what a man. Uh, it means that this thing called man, it's not ordinary. Mm-hmm. Myself, yourself, we are not ordinary. It is just that we've not discovered, we've not discovered what it is to be a carrier. We have not discovered what it is to be a witness. You know, mm-hmm. you will get to a point in your life whereby heaven has downloaded the effulgence of its glory. So whatever you say, heaven has no choice but to honor it. Yes. So you hear those great men said, at my word, let there not be rain. Yes. You will hear those great men who say, at my word, let the sun stand still. So the Bible said that the moon will stand still at the valley of Ajalon. I said, my God. He said, at my word. You used to hear all those things. So those people, they, they are not honored. They have become an envoy. They have become an envoy of his glory. So they walk with that. Stand. See, a man can develop so much power. A man can work with God so that he can even talk to nature. Uh, some, one of them will talk to nature and nature will obey. One of them will ask sun to stand still. And the sun will stand still. One of them will ask water to be divided. And water will be divided. One of them will bring water out of the rock. And water will come from the rock. One of them will turn water into wine. And one of them will turn water into blood. And these things usually obey them. Because they are no longer human. These things, this, they only carry a physical body. But they are also an envoy in the realm of the spirit. They are through them. Some of them, when they talk, uh, when they talk, Elijah will come back and stand with him and say, "You know what? We we are we are your classmates. We are your mates. So they are oh my God." I the earlier today, the Lord said, the Lord said, the Lord said, there are some people. You know, you log in for this meeting because you have the code. If I do not send the code to you, you will not be able to log in. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. Uh, the Lord said there are some people they know how to log in into the corridors of heaven. Mm-hmm. Oh, you are not getting me tonight. Some people they mm-hmm. they have the code. They know how to log in into the Zoom of heaven. They know how to mm-hmm. log in into the Google of heaven. Because they already have the code. They talk and the sea obey them. They talk and the air obey them. They talk and the water listen to them. They talk and blindness disappear. And these things are still happening from generation to generation. I said tonight, I decree and declare. And the, the Lord will honor your prayers more than any enchantment against you. In the name of Jesus. So, so some people have the code. They log on to the corridors of power any day, any time. Mm. They, they, will just, they will just log on. They will just log on. They don't, they don't waste time. Why some other people are running around looking for how to catch something in heaven? Some other people will just go and catch the radar. Therefore, hear my voice, O ye people. Enough is enough of living like slaves. Enough is enough of living the life of servitude. Enough is enough of living like mere men. Enough is enough of living like mere mortars. Meanwhile, some people are living like an immortal. You know, death could not hold them down. You know, sickness could not press them down. I I decree tonight, I decree tonight that as you open your mouth to command the situation around you, 
Let them begin to obey you with this power. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I say sin will no longer have implication around you. Amen. Oh, you, let me tell you, listen to me, sir. Listen to me very well. Please, I want you to listen. Do you think that Elijah was not sinning in his own time? No. He was committing sin. He had the spirit of anger in him. He had anger in him. But, uh, but God usually overlooks his anger. He says something and it comes to pass. In fact, if, he, if you allow him to use his anger to talk to you, God will still honor it. Uh, some people abused him. They called him a bald headed man. They said, You are bald headed. And he got annoyed. And he said, He spoke to the animals in the forest. The animals in the forest came and devoured those children. Devoured them. Devour, because he got annoyed. So look at it. He had the spirit of anger. Yet, God still honors whatever he says. He will walk with God to a particular level. And in fact, he will, he, will un, he will overlook the spirit of anger in you. He will overlook yes. it and he will still honor you. He will say, I know yes. you are human, but as long as you are still engaging me, I will keep honoring you. Oh, there was a story. There was a story about Apostle Babalola. He, he was jokingly talking to somebody. He said, Are you mad? Jokingly. Jokingly. He wasn't serious. He was jokingly talking to the person, are you mad? And do you know what happened? Mom Nani Flagia, do you know what happened? The person became mad immediately. The person became oh, wow. mad. He was joking. He wasn't serious. He was just joking. But do you know, it is so risky to joke with a man that can stay before God for 91 days. It is so risky to joke with a man that can honor God with 215 days fast. It is so risky to joke with that kind of person because heaven does not joke. And there's no comedy in heaven. That is why I pity some people that joke on the altar of God. As they are saying it, heaven is obeying it. As you are saying it, heaven is obeying it. As you are saying it, heaven is recording it. Therefore, I speak to the spirit of stagnancy that is inside of you. I speak to the spirit of stagnancy that is inside of you. I decree stagnancy. Give way today in the name of Jesus. Um, so Moses will say, he will ask God, don't honor other people's prayer. And God will obey him. Ah, my yes. so, so if, assuming we have somebody in our midst now that, that knows how to work with God so well, which we, they are there, they can work with God so well that every other prayer tonight in the entire world will be irrelevant. Mm. It is only his own prayer that God would answer. It is called spiritual networking. So every other person in the entire world will be praying. And their own prayer will not ascend. It will not ascend. But whenever he log on, whenever he log on into the application of heaven, his own prayer, immediately they will give him access into the throne room. Ah! They give him access immediately into the throne room. My God. Well, let's pray this prayer like this. Pray this prayer like this. Are you with me tonight? Tell God, among all the prayers that you will answer tonight, Grant me, grant my own petition access immediately. Grant my own petition access immediately before God. Among the prayers that you will answer tonight, Father, 
grant my own petition direct access to eternity. Grant my own petition direct access to the throne room. As we network tonight, as we network the communists of eternity tonight, as we saw them through prayer, Lagos, Paradise of Valia, grant my own prayer direct access. Direct access, Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Among the prayers that will be answered tonight, in the entire universe, among the prayers, because you are not the only one praying, Oh, yes. You are not the only one praying. There are some other people praying too. We have people praying for France. We have people praying from Australia. There are some people who are still logging in from South Africa. People are people are connecting every per minute per second. Mm. If, if you think that you are the only one praying, it's a deceit. So I will not be among those that will deceive you. Do you know it becomes risky if you keep quiet? You know, because if you keep quiet, others are logging in. If you keep quiet, others are bombarding heaven. You know, they serve heaven through the word of prayers, and heaven used to answer them. He's still answering them. That is why he said, Call upon me, call upon me. In the days of trouble, and I will answer you. He said, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call upon me, Yate Laros Apalia. As you call upon God tonight, among those that will ascend to eternity, among those prayers that will be answered. Let your prayer be given a priority in the name of Jesus. Have you make an attempt to see a governor? If you are a relative, if you are very close to him, do you know that there is always a back door they will give you priority? You say, okay. If you are so relevant, if you are so relevant before God, he will give you what priority. Therefore, tonight. I decree among those that will be given priority, let your name pop up in the name of Jesus. Oh, let me give you a scenario. Are you have you ever watched program on YouTube before? When the yes. when the important scene is about to come up, another advert will pop up. Another advert will pop up, and you will not be able to delete that advert. <laughs> until that advert finish playing until that advert finish playing that is when you now go back to watching your program that is how it is when you disturb heaven when you disturb heaven there is a camera they are watching uh, but whenever your own name pop up they will give you priority first and say let us pause mm. let us give this man priority I decree tonight among those prayers that will be prioritized among those prayers that will ascend to the throne of power, let your own prayer pop up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your own prayer pop up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, 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 let me discuss something with you, but some, uh, you know. When he sees that, look at, have you ever considered the life of Paul? He had numerous encounters. You know, he had numerous encounters.
God, listen to me tonight. I want you to please listen very well. Are you listening? Please listen. Let us be still. Yes, sir. Have you ever seen anybody that walk with God that doesn't cry? Mm. No, mm. I, I want you to listen with. I want you to be. Mm. Let, let us be real tonight. Have you ever seen anybody that walk with God that does not cry? Do you think when mm. David said, "Hear my cry, O Lord," do you think he was talking mm. about a? Uh, he was talking about uh, prayers. No, he was telling God, "Look at my, look at the tears coming from my cheeks, or coming from my face." That when he said, "Hear my cry," that cry there is not prayers. That cry there is not. Uh, I mean, even though his cry is classified as prayers, but it was a. It was weeping, weeping, weeping. It will be weeping. Tears will be coming down. So he will bring another petition and say, Lord, hear my cry. It means that the tears eh, ask and hear. Oh, you're not getting me tonight. Oh, whoa. Are we together here? It means that it means that the water coming from your face. He asks what we call hears in the realm of the spirit. So when David said, Hear my cry, O Lord, it means that that cry. Coming from his face is a voice. And God usually listens to people's voice. So you will walk with God so well that the tears coming from your face will not turn into a voice. And then whenever you cannot open your mouth, God will look at the tears and convert it into a voice. And then God will categorize it as prayers. So when David say, hear my cry, O Lord, it means that David is saying that, Convert my tears into a sacrifice of prayers. And then let it be strong enough to propel heaven to respond to my case. Ah. Mm-hmm. You are praying tonight. Convert the pain in my body into a voice. Convert my tears into a voice, Lord. Convert every pain in my body into a voice. Let it turn into a sacrifice. Let it turn into a sacrifice. Let it turn into a sacrifice. That will propel heaven to respond to me. Convert my tears into a voice. Convert my tears into a voice. Let it turn into a sacrifice that we propel heaven to respond to me. Let it turn into a sacrifice that we propel heaven to respond to me. Let it turn into a sacrifice that we proclaim heaven to respond to me. Hey, Yeros, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sister Adare, it means when you cry, are you with me? When you cry, and you cannot open your mouth, uh, just like David said, your tears can be given a voice. Your tears can be given a voice in the realm of the spirit. Sister Colady, Sister Colady Ajoke, when you are going through pain, when the, when the pain is in your heart and it's like a stone in your heart, it's too heavy. And your mind is talking. Meanwhile, your, your mouth is not talking. The Lord can give that your mind a voice. And uh, that voice, eh, it can open up. And when it open up, the Lord can convert it into a sacrifice. So, so whenever you cannot open your mouth to pray, your heart can also connect with God. Whenever you cannot open your mouth to pray, the pain in your body too can be converted into a sacrifice. And that is why, oh, do you know that when we were growing up, there used to be a brother. I think my brother knows him. My brother knows him. My brother is on the call. We call that brother, Brato Itaiwo. That my brother, when you see him, he will be shaking his head. His mouth is not talking. I will say, my ah, brother, what are you doing? There was a day I paid close attention to listen to him. 
He was among the first people that prayed for a madman. That mad, 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 madness disappeared that I've ever seen in my life. We were in a small church. We were in a small church called Assemblies of God Church. So the brother would come to our house. We were living in the Face Me and Face You apartment. About uh, in, in that Face Me and Face You apartment, where, where about 50 people share one toilet. You know? That was where we were living. And, and, uh, and uh, the brother would come and visit us. He would be shaking his head. I would say, ah, What is this brother doing? If his mouth is not talking. His body, will, his leg will be moving. And I will be looking at him. What is this man doing? What is he doing? The day the man prayed for a, 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 a madman and madness disappeared, I recognize that even though you are not talking at times and your head is moving, the Lord can give your head a voice. <laughs> I now realize that even though you are not talking and your leg is shaking, that uh, it can be, it can be, it can be stronger than the person talking. So some mm -hmm. people can talk, and Bible can, and and the Lord can recognize it as vague. Uh, he said mm -hmm. this one is a vague. He said he said some people they cannot propel heaven because they thought that by by their much speaking they will be hard. Uh, Jesus, they, Jesus, don't be like an hypocrite who when they pray. They thought that by their much speaking, they can be hard. I want you to listen to me tonight. Please, I don't want us to be distracted. They thought that by their much speaking, that they can be hard. So they will come. They will come with big vocabulary. They will say, Lord, bring the bulldozer of heaven. Bring the caterpillar of heaven. Scatter them. Scatter them. And when they pray like that, God will say, what is bulldozer? He will just be waiting. But meanwhile, some other people, they are only shaking their head. Mm. They are only shaking their feet. And God said, this one is even praying more. And God will give their head a voice. God will bring, give their shaking a voice. And the day they say, let madness disappear, madness will disappear. Therefore, tonight, eh, I don't know what form of posture you have taken. I don't know how you are praying at home. I don't know whether you are crying or whether you are shaking your head. I don't know whether it is your heart that is talking. I don't know whether you are lying down on the bed. But whatever posture you have taken tonight, I decree, let heaven give it a voice. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We used, to have, we used to have prayer warriors that pray more than this. I don't know where my prayer warriors have gone tonight. I say, whatever posture you have taken. Oh, so let me, let, me, let me tell you this, Sister Nike. So when you are going through trouble and your ass cannot, and your mouth cannot open up, do you know that your heart can be connected to heaven and we can give her your heart a voice? Do you know that? Do you know that when you are going through affliction, brother uh, Peter, you remember, you remember what I told you in Taiwo in Assemblies of God. Yes, yeah. yes, very well. You know that our brother, he will be shaking his head, he will be moving his feet. The day I know, the day I, the day I, 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 I knew, I knew that God can answer that kind of prayer was the day a madman came into the church, and that brother laid hand on it. Or the mad person. And that brother did not say anything. He was just shaking his head. And madness disappeared. That was the day I knew that shaking of head too can be given a voice in the realm of the spirit. That, that was the day I knew that it is not until you open your mouth with big vocabularies that God will answer you. That, that was the day I knew that even your heart cried. Even your tears can be given a voice. Therefore, tonight, give these people tears a voice, Heavenly Father. Tonight, Heavenly Father, give these people heart cry a voice, Heavenly Father. <laughs> tonight, give these people shaking of leg, give it a voice, Heavenly Father. So, and if there be anybody here that is crying, inside. If there be anybody here that is crying inside, that saying, God, I will give up. 
I decree, mm. give their cry, their inner cry, give it a voice, give it a voice, and let it be weighty enough, let it be strong enough to be converted into a sacrifice of answer prayers. In the name of Jesus. Sister Aisha, you are among the people that will benefit out of politics in Abuja. I have told you before. Mm. Oh, she can't hear me. You are among the people that will be qualified to benefit out of the election coming. There are about five people here. You will, you will benefit. They will ask you to come and print t shirt They will ask you to come and do souvenirs for them. Even, even one of them, we are living together. You see, the Lord said, I should tell you, ma, you are among the people that will be qualified to print souvenirs for politics in this coming election. Amen. See, this, com Amen. this coming election, eh, eh, you will not see the rain, you will not see the change of weather, but your valley, Amen. your valley will be filled with water. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. So, Peter, David brought a petition before God. David said, hear my cry. So, the cry, the tears coming from David's eyes was giving a voice. He said, hear my cry, O Lord. He didn't say, hear my mouth prayers. So, people usually think that until they open their mouth, that's when they are praying. But you see, I have come to you tonight with another philosophy of prayer. Because I know that most of the time when you are in a meeting and you want to connect to heaven, you cannot be opening your mouth to pray that time. When you are in a meeting and you want the table to turn in your advantage, when you are in a meeting and they are deciding your case and you want God to intervene, that is not the time to open your mouth and pray. No, 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 no. That is that that is the time to shake your leg. <laughs> that is the time to depend on your heart cry. That is the time to depend on your hand movement. Your hand will be moving. They didn't know what you are doing. They did not know that you are using that hand to connect to heaven. And suddenly the table will just turn into your advantage. I decree tonight, whichever posture you have taken. Let it be recognized as a prayer before God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. From today, henceforth, eh? anytime you decree a word, heaven will honor it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father, for answering our prayers. Can you give the Lord a clap of it tonight? Okay, Sister Aisha, are you listening to me, Sister Aisha? Where is glory? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Sister Aisha, the Lord said that there's, a, there's an opportunity coming for cooking job from another place. Another person is calling you, they are giving you a cooking job opportunity. You know, so prepare, get ready, get ready. Yeah. Every time the Lord speaks, it usually yeah. comes to pass. Every yes. time the Lord speaks, it usually yeah. comes to pass. Okay? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.